What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some Mono Green Tron. Got a Jagantha build going on. So we will see what we can do here. And that is Mine Tower. But it's not Tron, and so we mulligan. Same issue, not Tron. At least the last one had turn four Tron. Um, nope. Going to four. Going to three. We're in a bad spot. We at least have a Sylvan Scrying, so if we can start drawing Tron lands, we have a potential for turn four. But this will be a challenge. Well, that's actually a decent draw. We are playing a control matchup, so. All right, so there's the triome. Counter spells are not going to be our fans here. Ooh, but I do like that. Um, they could have the answer to the creature, but they're less likely to have the counter spell. Even if they path it, we're still in a decent spot. Or lightning, okay. Lightning bolt, yeah. Didn't think about that one. I guess that is Jeskai control. All right, Sylvan Scrying. We will take a mine. Play the mine. Ooh, they're a little low on lands. Oh, there's some more lands. They did miss a land drop, though. Upkeep. Can we draw something good? Well, we got a backup Sylvan Scrying. Now we just need a threat. I guess we do have Jagantha. Ooh, Flagstones. Okay, this may not actually be a control matchup. Oh, well, but there's a Jace. Oh, they're going to try and control. All right. And... On top. All right, they're giving us the worm coil, which means they're not really afraid of it. So that means it's likely going to get path. Or return to my hand with Jace. Interesting use of Jace. I'm 
Sylvan's Grang. Cryptic Command. But we'll use that to get our Karn out. And this will look like a very good time for Sundering Titan. Maybe I should have grabbed something to play here. Hmm. Yeah, that does let them cycle here. Who? So we do need to answer Jace somehow. Oof, yep. Yep, definitely should have grabbed something. That was a mistake on my part. We'll take an Ulamog. And that is a lucky draw for us because we get to get rid of the Jace. They are getting to a lot of mana though, but we do get to play out the Jagantha as well. Based on the cards they're playing, they probably have some kind of combo, but Jace is just too powerful. We'll destroy their lands next turn. Flagstones of Tarkar, the th card that lets them get a basic. That is pretty powerful. They have a Lightning Helix for the Karn, all right. I'm going to destroy two lands. Likely they're red sources. No, they got the triome. Hmm. Yep. Ooh, that's a good draw. Little tech. Do we go for it? Yeah, I think we do. Take out two blue sources. We'll let them choose their targets here.
That draw card effect is rough, but we've shut down Cryptic Command for the time being if they don't have a land. And we will take second Ulamog. And I think we are in a very good uh, spot here. Alright, they will oust my Ulamog. They've got the force, but I've got double Karn. Ooh, but they got the mental leak. All right, we are on top decks. We do get Ulamog next turn though, unless they have a way to shuffle my library. All right, this could be a Jace. This is not looking like a Jace. Now we'll take away their effect lands. Are they going to oust again? Oh, no, they're going to mana leak. Okay. Makes more sense. They, uh, we, oh, we are out of stuff to do, though. So that can be rough. Can they draw enough counter spells to keep me under control at this point? We are out of Ulamogs. All right, not what we need. Unfortunately, the more draws they get, the better spot they are to counter things. But we do have them on two lands, which is nice. Do we go for it? I think we do. And they're going to scoop to that. We could have waited till we had two things to play, but with them only having two mana, three cards in hand, we're going to go. Just go for it. All right, what do we want to change about the deck? Wilt, not going to be the most helpful. You know, I am not running Veil of Summer in this build. So whoever was playing this was not expecting too much control meta. Uh, I, I did take a, I kind of aggregated a few lists, but the more I think about it, there wasn't too many Veil of Summers. So it is making me weaker in this matchup. I could take on the Warping Whales. But I don't know what I would get rid of over them, so we'll just run it as in. Oh, you know what we will do? Oh, never mind. Forgot I had Kozilek in there. He was buried in there. 
Tron plus Golos in hand, we will keep. This is a very nice starting hand. And a Sanctum. Play a Chromatic Star. Got to give a quick shout out to my opponent here, Lux38. Uh, I mentioned in the comment at the start of the game that it was probably Dredge. So I'm guessing they've seen some of the Dredge videos. So yeah, Lux38, thank you for watching. Yeah. Although I am primarily a Tron player, a Dredge does come out on the occasion. So, with us already having Tron in hand, we are going to go for it like we don't. Sylvan Scrying. We're hoping they counter this so they're less likely to counter next turn. Of course, getting the land would be nice too. Alright. We do get rid of the Menelik. Very nice. That does affect what we grab. We'll grab a Sundering Titan. Crack for green, Ancient Stirrings, we'll grab an extra power plant here and run out an Expedition Map. We will go for the Golos. Make them burn that cryptic command. And we'll hold up the expedition map. Reflecting pool, interesting. We are trying to yeah, get to that double mana point. see what they do about this.
That's fine. Pretty much we're just stacking threats in our hand and we're trying to double threat. Oop, but cleansing wildfire, yep, is rough. I did not play around my opponent well here. Really like to draw mine. Ooh, very nice. And they're going to scoop to that. All right. GG. So yeah, uh, good game for my opponent, Lux38, Lux38. If you've watched the video, seen the Dredge videos, thank you for watching. Um, you know what? We've got, eh. yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I got to go to this, go over to here. I'll go ahead and open that one at the end of the video. Open one of these. We'll see what I get. And it is five play points. A Skimfar Avenger and a Kaya's Wrath. All right. Cool. Well, I'm always hoping for more points because I like to use those. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, if you made it to the end, uh, consider uh, giving the video a like or subscribing uh, for more content. And let me know what kind of content you'd like to see down below. Thanks again. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.